Number 10. Strait of Messina Whirlpool the Strait of Messina is 2 miles wide at the narrowest point and 830 feet deep. The seafloor drops significantly and winds blow against the direction of powerful currents, which create this powerful whirlpool. What is called the Maelstrom of Garafro occurs in the narrow body of water between the southern tip of Calabria and the eastern tip of Sicily, Italy. Because of the dangerous choppy seas and rotating whirlpools that can overturn small boats and create serious problems for bigger ones, it's generally recommended for sea vessels not to get too close. Number 9. Niagara Falls Whirlpool When the Niagara River is at its strongest, flowing north from Lake Erie to Lake Ontario in southern Canada, the water goes over the rapids and flows into a pool, creating another reversal phenomenon. The water travels counterclockwise around the pool and tries to cut across the natural outlet. That causes pressure to build up and forces the water under the incoming stream, causing the swirling Niagara Falls Whirlpool, which can reach depths of 125 feet. Number 8. Kauai Maelstrom Kauai, Hawaii is one of the most beautiful places on Earth, but it's also the home of one of the most deadly, destructive downdrafts of natural power. What happens is the sea air blows before a bellow of water pressure erupts through lava tubes like a geyser. Then, before another blast of the blowhole, white foamy ocean water is sucked in, creating a swirl of dangerous currents. The Kauai Maelstrom of dragging suction, which pulls down to the ocean 20 feet below the lava ledge. Number 7. French Pass, New Zealand A treacherous channel called the French Pass lies between an island off the coast of New Zealand and the mainland. A very strong current passes through this very narrow canal, which is only 330 feet wide. Because of the force of the water, a dangerous whirlpool is created and can be deadly. Case in point, three divers died there after getting caught in the whirlpool and being sucked down 300 feet underwater. Number 6. Skookum Chuck Narrows the Skookum Chuck Narrows are surrounded by a national park in beautiful British Columbia, Canada. These rapids attract a lot of hikers, scuba divers, campers, and kayakers. As a matter of fact, dozens of kayakers hit the rapids every day, but the Narrows whirlpools are not for amateurs. Even pros are told to check the tides before getting in the water and to only navigate the rapids at high tide or low slack tides. At other times, the whirlpools in white water are said to be extremely dangerous. Each day, 200 billion gallons of water flow through through the narrows. The difference in water levels on either side of the rapids can go over 6 feet 6 inches. Number 5. Old Sow The Old Sow Whirlpool located off the coast of Maine, United States and New Brunswick in Canada is the largest in the Western Hemisphere. It's 250 feet across. It was called the Old Sow apparently because it makes pig-like screeching noises when the vortex is at its peak. Smaller sailboats and other boats with keels are advised to stay away because currents can reach 17 miles per hour. Number 4. Naruto the strait separating Naruto and Awaji Island in Japan is less than a mile wide. The Naruto Strait is located within a very narrow channel near Choko, where tides and water levels swing constantly and throw strong tides into a vortex. The water races at more than 8 miles per hour four different times a day, twice flowing in and twice flowing out. The Naruto Maelstroms are the fourth fastest in the world because the tidal currents swirl at over 20 miles per hour. During the spring and fall tides, the whirlpool grow to over 60 feet in diameter. Number 3. Karivakan Between two islands off the coast of Scotland and the Gulf of Karivakan, you'll find the third largest whirlpool in the world. Scuba divers consider it one of the most dangerous dives in the UK, and the British Navy once classified it as non-navigable, but now just qualifies it as extremely dangerous. Maelstrom's roar is so strong, it could be heard almost 10 miles away. Number 2. Mosk Stroman While the Salt Stroman is the strongest maelstrom in the world, the Mosk Stroman is the most infamous, thanks to Edgar Allan Poe and Jules Verne. Poe wrote a story called A Descent into the Maelstrom, and then Verne referred to it towards the end of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Actually, Mosk Stroman is even thought to be the first maelstrom ever mentioned. It's located in the Lofoten Islands off the coast of Norway. Its flow currents reach speeds as high as 20 miles per hour, and its whirlpools can get up to 160 feet in diameter. Number 1. Salt Stroman 
Positioned near the Arctic Circle, the Salt Stroman has the strongest tidal current in the world. Every six hours, strong ocean currents could reach 25 miles per hour as more than 105,000 gallons of water rush through the narrow strait that connects the two fjords. Salt Stroman gets its name from the district Salton and from the word Strom, which means stream or strong motion of water. Its whirlpools, or maelstroms, can reach up to 33 feet in diameter and go down 16 feet deep when the current is at its strongest. It's believed that the Salt Stroman has existed between 200 and 300,000 years. Because the underwater currents are always churning, locals and tourists are advised to be extremely careful because the Salt Stroman maelstrom really is the most dangerous in the world.